MTV is uh, actually zeroing in on young voters with a campaign called The Power of 12. And here with more on this effort is MTV News correspondent Sway Calloway. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning Good to morning. you guys. So potentially, yes. this is the largest block of voters, potentially, mm -hmm. that that could come out in November. Absolutely. 45 million uh, potential voters between the ages of 18 and 29 can help set the agenda. It's about the individual vote and collectively they could change the whole entire election. We've seen this in the past just four years ago. That's what the Power 12 is all about. Uh, MTV through Choose or Lose has helped drive some of the largest turnouts of um, young voters in history. We want to continue that and we created this hub. Power12.org, so people can get information about the election, um, the politicians, uh, the agendas, so on and so forth. So, how does Power of 12 differ from Choose or Lose, which is this sort of iconic uh, tradition at MTV? It's just a continuation of our political legacy. You know, the Power of 12 is about now, it's about 2012, it's about this generation. We're experiencing a, a different um, economic climate as well as political climate. A lot of young Americans are feeling disillusioned, but they're not disengaged with the political process. We saw the turnout with Occupy Wall Street, but when I go out in the streets and I talk to young potential voters, some of their concerns is student loan, uh, student loans, how to pay for college and coming out of college and not having jobs. So they want to be heard. So what have you been seeing here in New Hampshire? I mean, are, are young voters lining up behind any of these candidates we're seeing this week in the Republican primary? Well, we saw in, in Iowa, the young voters uh, came out and most of them supported uh, Ron Paul, but only 4% of those voters under 30 actually came out to vote. So they're definitely watching. We'll see what happens in New Hampshire. That's why we're here. What do you think it is about Ron Paul that appeals so much to younger voters? I think his, uh, well, he's a libertarian, you know, <laughs> um, and I think he speaks directly to the, to the young audience and he's not so much for the two-party system and I think that resonates well with young Americans. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think young voters will be the crucial difference in November? Will they support President Obama the way they did four years ago? Well, I think President Obama uh, right now has the highest approval rate of young voters. Ron Paul, in terms of the Republican Party, has the highest approval rate of young voters. I think young voters will definitely set the agenda. And if the candidates are wise, it would behoove them to tap into this power of 12 mm -hmm. and, and utilize this power and, and talk to this young vote. You know, they came out in such huge numbers. They were so energized four years ago. Mm -hmm. This time around, they've got a lot of concerns. They're looking for a job. You heard in Karen's piece, sending out 15, 30 resumes, getting mm -hmm. nothing in return. You think they'll be that energized this time? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's the reason why, because, it, you know, the condition that the country is in now. Uh, when you look at student loan debt, it's the first time in, in America that mm -hmm. student loan debt supersedes credit card debt. So something has to change. Yeah. And, and for those reasons, I think you'll see a high turnout. But I definitely think the candidates definitely need to pay attention to the Power 12. We're doing a lot of different programs to engage this generation. We have a, um, a, 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 a campaign we're launching called, um, what we call it? We call it Fantasy Election 12. And it's like yeah. fantasy football and fantasy baseball. Good. Gonna have to leave it there. Sway Calloway okay. of MTV. That's it? That's it. <laughs> oh, I know, okay. it frustrates us all the time. We'll but right thanks back. for being with us. All right.